I just didn't think we were gonna get one. We finally actually got one. So you've probably seen our first video on the 3080 mining results. We were able to share with you as one of the first channels on YouTube some really interesting numbers there about what to expect when crypto mining on 3080. You can see that video on the link above us here if you'd like to check that out for more information. And we thought, you know, that was it. We were satisfied, we were happy. There was no more to come. And then we got the call. Hello? Maybe we didn't get a call from Nvidia, but we did have to beg, borrow and steal and do some crazy things to be able to get a card. And we only have till midnight tonight to have access to this, to be able to get these results out to you. So it's literally 6 p.m. here now in the UK. We've got just under six hours to be able to film this video, put it together, get it out there, do all the tests and do everything we need to do. So it's gonna be a mad rush, but hopefully we'll get these results to you and we can all be excited together as we discover what this weapon of a card is able to do. So we're going to be testing the Ethereum algorithm today because I know that's the main one people have asked us for as a first priority. So that's what this video is gonna contain. We're gonna try and test as many other algorithms as we can. If you'd like us to release those videos as well, if you could smash the like button and get it to well over 100 likes, we'll release the next algorithm video immediately upon doing so. And that would be really helpful to help everyone see this and give the channel a little kick too. And we're doing this all for you. The channel's not even monetized yet. We're not making a penny. Uh, so if you wanna come back and see what content we've got, you can subscribe below. It'll be great to have you with us for the journey. Come and see what amazing content we're putting out and we'll hopefully we'll, you'll be able to be the first person to get notified of the new 3090 results as we move forward and share really exciting content with you over time. And here it is, the Gigabyte SKU 3090 GPU. We're gonna be putting it through its paces and seeing what numbers we can get out of this thing. Let's open this bad boy and see what we've got. It's massive. <laughs> so I have not seen one of these things yet. I've been told that it's very, very large. <laughs> it's bigger than my head. Holy shit. How is this? How is this consumer grade equipment? Good Lord. It's actually ridiculous. I mean, look at the size of that thing. So this thing is absolutely ridiculous. There's a good couple of kilos of light years ahead technology here. It's pretty ridiculous. So just to give those of you an impression who aren't necessarily familiar with graphics cards, this is the same SKU actually, also a gigabyte triple fan, um, 2080 Super. So this is one of our cards, which we pulled out from one of the machines behind us. Um, so you can have a look at the difference in size. If you put these two things next to each other, I mean, one of them does not look like a graphics card. I mean, how this thing is commercial, you know, not commercial grade equipment and is domestic is unbelievable. I mean, it's an absolute mammoth of a card. So this is gonna be really exciting to see how much power this thing's got versus how much power this thing's got. So let's get into it. Nothing's going on, it's all broken. Uh, 
it's not it's not agreeing with some of the overclocks that we're giving it, so we're trying out a few different things, see if we can bring it back down to a more suitable level. Technical difficulties is a polite way of saying everything is going wrong. Not. I've got the world's most powerful card for five hours, and I've not had it working for five minutes. Because uh, it's now working at a higher memory clock, but it's gone down. So there's something dodgy going on with this card, like 100%. Oh God, what are we doing here? I can't power a video if we've got no overclock. Uh, well, the problem is, is I've moved heaven and earth to get one graphics card for a few hours and it looks like <laughs> oh, we might actually have a broken graphics card, which is not what I needed right now. It works. But as soon as you tweak anything with it whatsoever, it just goes and just keels over and dies, which is not what graphics cards should do. I mean, I should know, I kind of know how they work, um, but unfortunately this one is just not working very well. So a um, little bit worried. Uh, we're not getting the results that we should be. It's giving us just about baseline and not much more. Um, so fingers crossed, we can do some surgery, we can do something, we can do some crazy things to make it work. Um, but it's looking like we've got till midnight and it's a good thing because we're going to be here till midnight just to get the bloody thing working. So from here on in, um, it's not fair for me to keep the boys any longer. They've already done a great shift today. So uh, they've stayed late as it is. So it looks like the boys are going home. I'm going to stay and do a night shift and see what results we can get out for you here. Um, long and short of it, don't run a business. Just, just work with someone else. It's easier. Just don't bother. Um, it's going to be a late night, but I'm fueled up on pizza um, and I think it's time for some Red Bull. So we'll see where we get. Fingers crossed I can get some proper results to you. Oh, well, okay. Uh, we just about, I think, made it. Um, if you are now looking at my face going, Josh, your eye bags have doubled in size, then you'd be right. It's been a very late night. Um, and I am knackered, um, but hopefully it's all going to go into this video and you're going to appreciate that. But um, the team ended up going home, obviously, last night, as we said, and then we stuck around and finally got things to work. Uh, as you saw from some of the footage before this, things were not going well. I was not a happy bunny. Uh, it turns out, finally, after many, many hours of messing around, we just had a driver issue. We updated the drivers um, and that gave us much better stability and stopped all the crashes and all the horrible things that were happening. So it just seemed to be some dodgy drivers. But the long and short of it is, is we've got the test done, we've got the numbers in for you. So without further ado, here are the results. So as we zip over here to the screen, we're gonna walk you through exactly what's going on here for those of you that might not be familiar. So I know these numbers look a little scary, but ultimately it comes down to this. The green line at the top here is the base figures. So this is the out of the box numbers. So that's not doing anything fancy. That's just plugging it in, turning it on and off it goes. And that's given us a result of 106 mega hash on Ethereum, but using a huge amount of power at 350 watts. Um, so that gives us a baseline hash rate, uh, watt per hash ratio there of 3.03. .03. So we've tested many, many, many versions, as you can see down here with different overclocks. Ethereum is a memory heavy algorithm, so it really likes to be turned upon the memory. So on the version of the card which we were using, the purple line here seems to be the best that we were able to muster at 80% power and 750 on the memory clock. We got that down to 300 watts of power and that got us 113.35 as the highest average um, hat per wash that we hat, hat per wash, watt per hash that we could manage. Um, so that is a pretty big number. Uh, we did manage to get down here to 115.8, 116 um, hashes when it came to mining. Now, ultimately, what we're seeing here, as a, as a, you know, we'll flash back now. What we're seeing here is, you know, 115, 116 uh, hash as a maximum is actually much less than I was expecting, considering in the 2080 video we got 102, 100 mega hash. Um, really quite easily out of that card. Obviously this thing has double the memory, um, over double the memory, 24 gigabytes instead of 10. So I was really expecting a much larger lift here. Um, we have seen some anecdotal evidence sloshing around the internet from various different super geeky forums that people have got above 120 mega hash on this card. 
Um, and I think ultimately when you get down to this extra you know, margin at the very top, what's most likely to be the case here is silicon difference, you know, quality of the actual card and the way it's manufactured will probably give you a couple of percent difference, which obviously when you're talking with those type of numbers um, can make five or six hash is perfectly reasonable to assume, especially when you take into consideration different minor version as well. So I would have liked a much higher number than 115, 116. I was slightly disappointed with that. Um, but again, the big note here, as it's been for all of the 30 series of cards is, holy crap, they use a lot of power. So when we're boiling all of this down, what we're really seeing here is, yes, you're earning a huge amount of coins with a really nice hash rate, but ultimately the hash per watt isn't necessarily anywhere near as efficient as other options that are out there. So this is, you know, a very nice card to do a whole myriad of crazy, amazing deep learning stuff or gaming things with. Um, but from this first algorithm, at least from what we've seen from Ethereum, um, it's not going to be a card that people are using for mining. That's certainly for sure. Um, but it is getting some very, very attractive numbers. So we have actually ran other numbers for this on other algorithms so again if you can get us to 100 likes if you want to smash that like button down here below um, as soon as we get to 100 likes we'll get another video straight out to you and um, for the other mining algorithms because again the graphics card has two different elements it has a core and it has a memory um, of course both of these are exceptionally powerful in the 3090 and the memory is only really tested here in ethereum the core we haven't really played with as you can see from some of the results here um, we're pretty much just using zero core down the side here because that doesn't really move the needle much when we're talking about the Ethereum mining output. Um, so ultimately, we've got other things that have tested. We've tested Ravencoin, we've tested MTP for Zcoin, and we've also been able to test Beam. So it's been a real late night testing some other algorithms. So we're just trying to produce all of that content at the moment. So if you give us some love on this video, we'll get that out to you as fast as we possibly can. Um, and that is all we have when it comes down to the actual results themselves. So there you go, guys. It was all hopefully worth it. The late nights and the stress and the team having to stay late to get these figures for you. Um, we will put loads of work into this video. So again, we're going to be getting more data out to you as fast as we can with the results that we've got. We're also going to be doing a comparative video where we compare one graphics card versus another for overall efficiency because that's an argument which is now becoming slightly more clear as we get these results in. So again, for all this type of content moving forward, if you want to subscribe to the channel, we'll get as much information out there as we can. We've loved making this for you and we can't wait to see you soon in the next video.